Right. Who are we? Where are we? And why are we here? For me, there's an order to the questions. First and foremost, the, the, the question has to be, where are we? Right? Because for me, knowing where we are is going to take us a huge step closer to who we are and why we're here and what the whole game is about. Um, I've made a wee list again, so I'm just going to fucking rattle my way through it. Uh, I've said what I've said from the start because I understand how the game's working and I can see the tactics that are being played. You know, right away, you know, there was this adoption of a model. You know, the circular, the circular model. Now, I would like to know who um, say agreed that that was the case or that that's what we should represent. You know. It's fair, and, and, and if you are representing a model, then you need to be able to prove it empirically. But you can't for the situation that you're sitting in. So for me, it's a total waste of time. Um, and I've seen the reasons why they were putting the models out there, because if you can get somebody to say, well, there's flat and show these models or represent these models, then you've got people that are going to come in and um, demand that you start answering questions. You know, And that's not how it works. You know, I'm just going to keep saying the same thing again because it's just not getting through. You know, we were all born into a claim that the Earth is a globe, right? Now, we can prove, I can prove to myself, and I've shown the proof that it's not a globe, that it can be a globe, right? So what position does that then put me in? Okay, I don't know where I'm, right? That's it. What the sun and the moon are doing it's fine, but it does not give you the full dimensions of the place that you're in, you know. So, for me, that's the next logical step. No to go, oh, well, I've been lied to, you know, and now I'm just going to adopt that belief, the EE map or whatever map it is that you're, you're, you're jumping on to, you know. I know it's a scary thing to admit that you don't know something, but it's the most comfortable place to be in. It's the freest place to be in. You know, there's nothing to attack. When you're sticking to the facts and you're sticking to the logic, then nobody can attack that. And if you understand logic, you know that you can cut the people off who are employing logical fallacies. So, we'll just start with my wee list. Real people in the flat earth. Right. You need to define real. I don't know what that means, real people in the flat earth. If you're looking for people who are playing manipulative games or illogical games in the flat earth or the question of what shape the earth is, then I've said it clearly before and it's very simple, look at their content. You know, what have they got in their content that's provable? Are they engaging in logical fallacies? Are they engaging in bitch fests? Are they, you know, um, slagging somebody's personality? Because it's got absolutely nothing to do with anybody's personality and it shouldn't be involved. That's an emotional game. You know, emotional emotional games designed to manipulate and control. This is about logic, reason, natural science. So, if I want to know who's real, you know, as I've done many times, I'll go to their content and I'll look at them, you know, and what they're saying. And if what they're saying is logical and it's provable, then that's fine. If they're doing that and still attacking and bitching, you know, then I'll, if I ask them and I confront them with it and they continue to do it, then I know that they're either stupid or they're playing a game. It's as simple as that. That's it. There isn't any grey areas, you know, if they're continuing to do that, you know that that's the game they're playing. So stop looking at people's persona. It's got nothing to do with it. You know, I can show you my bike runs. I can show you my, oh, I've got a family and stuff. Blah, blah. I can still be telling you lies and showing you part of my personal life, you know, it's what I'm saying that's the important part, you need to analyse the content. Promoting each other, you know, I'm very, very wary about who I'll promote and who I will um, be associated with, because, you know, as I say, there's people who are promoting things that are unprovable, unprovable, um, 
you know, and it's getting lumped in with flat earth, and I'm seeing flat earth in my title, so I don't want to be lumped in with that. Um, and, and, and these people who are continually bitching about each other, right, you've got one side who's like the baddie, and the other people who are like the good guys, the nice people, right, and they're constantly slagging each other and attacking each other, you know, what does that do? It just promotes them. It draws the attention to them. If you're serious about truth, promote people who are telling the truth. Don't spend your time bitching about somebody's personality. You know, if you can't show up their, their, their content and, and articulate it logically, then what you're, you're presenting is absolute fucking bollocks. You know, it's... It doesn't matter what they say and how much they try and justify it. If they're constantly bitching about each other, that's publicity, right? Spend your time, if you're really serious about this, spend your time publicising people who tell the truth. Promote them. I'm not seeing that. What I'm seeing is selfish egos who are holding on to their wee group or their wee part and then buddy-buddying with people who are getting name confirmation bias and who suit their personalities and blah blah and it's just creating all this same division that always goes on that's happening just now you might as well just forget about it and just go with the globe for me this is about totally breaking free you know, you can have all this shit you know, and you're fucking petty games with each other once we find out the true dimensions and if there's a door or some way to exit, I'm fucking leaving and you can stay here and fucking play your emotional games with each other to your heart's content. This isn't an emotional game for me. <sighs> Who said we need maps and models? You know, I've touched on that. Who agreed to that? It's illogical and it's a lie. You know, you don't have to represent it. You don't have to be defending anything. That claim was made to you. You're rubbishing the claim and that's where you stand. That's a lie. The next logical step is to have full exploration or f and full disclosure. Full disclosure for the military and full exploration. We've been lied to. So we need to take that control back and stop giving more power to people to feed us stuff. You know, that's why I'm saying analyse the content. You analyse the information that they told you. So analyse the information that other people are telling you. The no trees thing, you know, there are a couple of comments about, you know, that look, look, we were saying, oh, it's, you're not allowed to talk about these trees, mountains being trees, it's, it's not what I said, people are free to investigate and do what they want, right, but this subject for me is about the full dimensions of where we live, and I'm sure it was Conspiracy Misty, I think it was, that I put a comment, I've, I've not responded to it, you know, where she used the analogy of looking at this place as a, as a crime scene. Well, for me, that's the wrong analogy just now. I'm not interested in the contents of the room. The analogy for me is, is I've been held hostage my whole life and lied to, and that blindfold's been whipped off. Now, the first thing I want to do is find where I'm and find the way out. And once I know what's what, then I'll go back and I'll look at the content of what was there and analyse the room that I was being kept in. So, and, and what's the relevance here? Does it add to the question? You know, it's just an observation. The, the tree stumps of the mountains have always been here. And as Marty said the last time, you know, they have always been here. So where is here? It's where we are that we're trying to figure out. You know, and back to these God questions again. You know, I've probably went too fast through this and, and no covered enough, but I'll come back and I'll, I'll, I'll cover it again. But God and what this idea of God is, again, right, your idea or belief in God or a creator, whatever that might be, is fine, right? If you want to hold a belief or play in your imagination about what that means, that's fine. But for me, again, I feel that can be discovered by discovering the full creation, the full dimensions of it. And as I've said before, for me, it's a construct. If I construct something right now, that construct lies within this reality. You know, So if we're in a sealed construct or whatever, 
then that reality, that, that construct has to be existing within the larger environment. And it, it feels for me like the whole thing's to stop us from exploring. So, and, and, and these, like, the, the, the typical Christian idea of God and stuff, or, or this hierarchy of God, you know, it doesn't sit for me, you know. Nobody can give me a, a, a proper explanation or anything that will satisfy what, what that entails, because, you know, honestly, a God, this is the best that it can, it can come up with, you know, temporary suffering. I mean, what is this place? I've spoken about it before. There is beauty here, but for me, that beauty is just to keep you dazzled, to keep you all fascinated with it. Well, all this other stuff that's going on and about you goes unnoticed. And then it's God's beautiful creation. It's God's beautiful creation. How do you know that? You don't even know we're here. You don't even know who you are or why you're here. So this is God's beautiful creation. How do you know? This could be another mind's fucking prison. You know, this is where it, it captures souls or whatever you want to believe in and brings them here. You might not even have a soul. That could be the reality. I've got to keep myself open to that being the possibility, you know. Although I don't want that to be true. It's in my nature to think want, there's more and want to keep going. You know, the idea that, that you had when you were younger of death and how it was taught to you that it was the end and it was final. It never sat right with me, you know. But I've still got to keep open to the possibility that that might be the reality. So, and also, I mean... Your beliefs can have an effect, you know. For me, beliefs are just a substitute for knowing, you know. And that's what I've been trying to say, and that's what I've been saying for the start. Stop adopting beliefs. You don't have to have beliefs when you can know, you know. And you can see it now. You know, you can, I can start to see people being attacked because the more people that are becoming involved are seeing what's went on for the last year and people who have got themselves into a position where they could have used that for real good, you know, to keep pushing truth and to tell the truth, but they didn't. They, 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 their ego got the better of them and they wanted to stay relevant and important, so they start adding bullshit in and and illogical behaviours and then they fuck up and then they start to have problems internally because they know they're fucked up and th then the ego goes bravado and, and, and it just gets worse and worse rather than just saying look you know for the last year you know when I when I came into this my emotions get the better of me and I, and I jumped in and you know if they could stand here or go and film and just say look they fucked up you know and they'll get my respect you know backtrack a bit you know, come to the realisation of the truth. What you were told was a lie, okay? You can prove that. And now you're in a position where you don't know what the fuck you are. You still don't know what it's about or who you are. That's the honest truth. And that's what I'm looking for when I'm looking for people who are telling the truth. There's things that people can say that, are, that you can prove, as long as it's provable. But right now, we don't know where we are. Don't know who we are or why we're even here. That's it. We've got to have the ability to admit when we fuck up. And when we're wrong. It's as simple as that. Um, I say it, I keep coming on camera and it's a repetition. If you go back to the first video, you know, or even back to stuff from last year, last August, last June, July, it's the same stuff I've been saying constantly because that's the truth, you know. So don't get confused about who's who and who to trust. Stop looking at them personally, right, because that's just not going to help you. You don't know them. You're watching them through a screen. They can be any character they want. And it's fine that they're playing a character again. It's what they're saying that's important. Never mind if they're playing a character. If I come on here wearing a costume and playing my guitar, it's what I'm saying. What content I'm offering, you know? 
if I'm coming on saying, well, I'm telling you truth and then I start making fairies up, fairy stories up, you should have the ability to critically look at that and, and, and know that I'm talking shit. We're in this mess because of that attitude of all-knowing, guru, all-wise, and trying to be smart and feeding the ego. It's time to fucking stop that. It's time to get fucking real, you know. We're waking up for a fucking bad dream here. We don't know where we are. And there's a lie being fed to us. And there's all this equipment here. And there's all the military personnel. You know, but we need to get that message across properly without all the fucking shit, without making claims. You know, just make people aware of the lie and then tell the truth. We don't know where we are. You don't have to give them something. You don't have to offer them something to satisfy their insecurity. They'll need to deal with it. I had to deal with it. That's what happens when you're looking for truth. I couldn't kid myself on and just believe in a map or a model. You know, I had to stop and go, no, well, I've been lied to, so... How can I possibly prove where I am? And I can't. I can take data for Google. I can take data for here, you know, and, and try and make sense here. I'll look at the sun and try and figure it out, but, but it's not going to happen. Unless you've got a team all over the place who are working in unison and everybody can verify exactly what's happening. Who I trust and who I respect and look at as people who are saying exactly what I'm saying and what I'm seeing is few and far between and few and far between who are willing to promote that message you know because they know when you admit that you've got nothing that's what I'm saying about religions and philosophies why we don't need them anymore that's for bewilderment that's for when you don't know and you're in a state of confusion when you can go and find out exactly where you are then why would you need philosophies or religions? You know where you are. You don't have to have substitutes. Maybe once this is all over, we can get to know each other on a personal note. You know, and we can partake in marine personal games again. You know, and try and get popular or whatever you want. But right now, that's not important. And it's just fucking everything up. It's fucking slowing everything down. It causes me frustration. I've been sitting here for a year and a half, so is Marty, saying the same thing. Sitting in truth. Anybody come come and, come and, and, and refute what I'm saying? But you better have fucking proof to back your claims. And that's the problem. That's the problem with the globe. I went into every aspect of the globe trying to prove the globe to myself. There is no proof there. And when there's no proof for something, then it doesn't exist. Everything else is just an imagination. No. Nonsense behaviour. It's only going to play you into the hands of some charlatan who's willing to manipulate your stupidity and your ignorance. And if you doubt what I'm saying about the, the, the two factions promoting each other, look at their look at their sub their, their subscribers. It's shooting up. Why is that? It's because they know that people are already in that frame of mind. You know, where they sit and watch EastEnders or some drama where there's a baddie and a goodie and there's somebody to blame and there's somebody to save, there's a, there's a hero, you know, and it's just a and it gets people, oh, this is great, this is great, you know. So say that's fine, you can get back into that mode once we've established where we are and we've got rid of this fucking shit that's happening. If you want to go and live like that, fine. But it's illogical behaviour and it's no bringing anything to the progression of this. Because as I say it, and I'm going to keep saying it, this is an actual science for logic and reason and that's it. Keep your imagination separate for it. You know? And take responsibility, you know. I wouldn't go on YouTube and, 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 and put myself up there as talking about, you know, the internal combustion engine, you know, and then 
you, you know that's the discussion and then and then start talking about about fairies and and, and birds and trees and blah 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 you know that's that's no bringing it into the the, the the headline of what I'm there for when you're talking about philosophy state that you're just philosophizing it's simple but for me again it's just a waste of time I'm tired of I went into all the philosophies and the religions philosophy of mind, body, all that kind of stuff, what is consciousness, um, and a lot of it, you know, when you look at it now, it's, a lot of it is based on living in a globe, you know, and being in bewilderment, you know, so if, how can you, your, your, your foundation is a lie, and you're philosophising from a lie, you know, it's just crazy, <coughs> it's the same now, the globe's a lie, but I don't know where I'm, I, I can sit and have ideas in my mind and philosophise, but I don't need to, we don't have to, we can find out where we are and rid the place of this idiotic thing of having beliefs, you know, viruses, because a belief is a substitute for knowing, right, you know, I looked at that in the Bible when they talked about the tree of life and the tree of knowledge, you know, and you can eat for the tree of life but don't eat for the tree of knowledge or whatever the story is, and I can understand that because for me when, the, you know, knowledge the way it's put to us is taking information and regurgitating it, that's a virus, that's going to cause you, that's going to put you in hell, right, you know, don't have, um, you know, don't take knowledge for people, have your own experience, if somebody makes a claim to you, go and verify it for yourself, right, don't just take it on board and emotionally invest in it, it's just going to fuck yourself up, that's delusions, that's crazy behaviour. Um, and again, I'm not saying that everybody who's partaking in the behaviours that I'm talking about are, are agents, are actively playing. Some people are just daft and emotional and get involved in these things and maybe through time they realise it and they'll go off, right, I, I see how I was dragged into that there. But the people who are persistently just keeping going and keeping going, then I'm like, you know what, I don't think they're that stupid. So for me, they have to be playing a game, an emotional game, for emotional ends, whatever their ends might be. Um, and I can see that, you know, given this illusion that there's a fight, and then putting people in certain places, because for me, how are they going to shift this into a new paradigm? This, this isn't going to go away. So what are they going to achieve? You know, unite everybody under God's kingdom. So we ask you, God, but you need to ask yourself, what kind of God would create this in the first place? And don't give me your reasons. You know, I heard, um, I'm sure, was it, I don't know, but I think I heard Laurie Gale talking about, I don't know if she was referring to somebody else, about God splitting himself up into all these different beings so he could experience in yourself. Come on. You know, you could do a lot better than that. Again, that's just... Know that I'm saying, look, philosophise if you want, right? I've done it, it's fine, that's how you work things out. But for me, that that just doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't sit right with me at all. I'm no anti-hierarchy. I don't want to be subject to some hierarchical power. You know, or disempowering ideologies. You know, I need to be responsible for me. I don't want to be the subject of any gods or anything, so none of that stuff works for me. Um, it's something along the lines of, you know, we're part of eternity, there is no such thing as time, and this has all been going on a lot longer, you know, and there is just a certain type of mind, you know, from one scale to the other scale, and all a different variation in between. Um, and for me, a mind to create this kind of place is fucking no something I would agree with. And again, if I was God, I could create something a lot better. You know, you know, if he wants to experience suffering, create it once. How many times does this God have to experience the suffering or the pain or being a handicapped child or a, a gazelle being hunted by a lion or a lion with a fucking broken leg? I mean, how much of that does he have to experience before he understands himself? It's nonsense know what's going on here um, and again I'll just get back to it to sum it up with that okay the globe's a lie we don't know where we are we don't know who we are and why we're here 
right? If we want to know who we are and maybe why we're here, we need to find out exactly where we are first. That's the first step. We analogy. If you were held captive in a place your whole life and blindfolded, I've used this before, you know, and you don't have any memory of how you got there or why you're there, and then the blindfold was removed from you, you're not going to sit in the middle of that place contemplating. The first thing you're going to do is start to explore every direction you possibly can until you find exactly where you are, and then you can start to put a picture to it. And then when you put a picture to it, you might see how you could be fitting into that picture. Um, so. I hope that was clearer. I hope you get what I'm saying. And I hope you come to that same realisation that we are at. Because that's the truth. And you don't have to be scared of no knowing. You know, it's the most comfortable, free place that you can be in. You know, no beliefs, you know, no emotional turmoil because you're not trying to grasp things or look for confirmation bias. You're just standing free in truth. And you might think it's scary, but it's not scary. And there's other people who are here who are feeling the same. But I'm not going to be dragged in with groups of people who are not getting this. Sorry. Um, talk to me about whatever, anything that I've seen can talk to me about, I look forward to it, cheers.